Hi folks, how you all doing? My name is Lawrence Mann, this is Lawrence Can Draw, the place to come if you are a digital artist looking for advice from a professional working digital artist like myself. Today we're looking at the Deco Pro Medium from XP Pen. That's an 11 by 6 inch tablet, that's an active area on the tablet. We're not doing a full review of the tablet, that's already done and up on my channel. Today what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at what this tablet is actually capable of when you plug it into an Android phone. I did some quick cuts of this video during my full length review but I actually wanted to show you kind of a longer look at this now and talk about this more in depth. Yeah, I kind of gushed about this a little bit because I love drawing on phones and I think it's really, really important. Also, some other artists have covered this but gotten some of the facts wrong or some of those facts now need to be updated because some of our artists said that you couldn't use the dial or the hotkeys didn't work and things like that. I don't know if that was true at the time. Maybe they were or maybe those artists just didn't bother to fully go out of their way to explore the full features. You actually have to know Android phones quite well and if you're not used to Android phones, if you're more of an iPhone user let's say, then you probably don't know how to do these things. What you have to do is you have to go into the settings mode, scroll right to the bottom here, find the software information, find the build number and then click on it a series of times. It will tell you how many steps you are from being a developer. You're a developer now! Yes, an Android developer. See how easy that was? Then once you've got that, find the developer mode, turn it on, it'll ask you if you want to do that, click OK. Then you've got a series of options, turn stay awake on, then find the USB debugging mode. This is the important part, turn that on as well, and that's pretty much all you need to do. Then you can open the app. One thing I want to mention is that each manufacturer lays their UI out in a slightly different way, so your menu system in the settings might look a little different. Now, I tried this with my uh, Galaxy Note and it still didn't work. Now, I think that's obviously because it already uses Wacom technology with a stylus and maybe that was the direct reason why it didn't work. Here, I'm just using a standard Android phone and works perfectly. So, once I've got this up and running, you can see the UI there popping up on the phone, and I've got the dial and hotkeys all working. It works perfectly. It's like having a, a mini PC with me on the go. This phone is a couple of years old. It's not the best phone at all. But it works, and it's absolutely great. You can see me drawing. It's a very odd experience. Now, I will say that I had to have the phone kind of over there so I could draw kind of top down because it's always harder to do things while you're filming. If I didn't have to film, then I could have had the tablet on my knee and the phone at a bit more of an angle so I could see what I was doing. That's why my head is unfortunately coming into shot all the time, which I would have reshot it normally. But proof is that this actually works and you can do kind of half decent drawings. You know, with a little more practice at this, you could have seen how well I could have gotten this to work. What I really wanted to show you here was that the dial works, the hotkeys work and everything here works. The fact is as well that I can get pressure. I can get everything working that this tablet is supposed to do. As well, if you go back to my review, you can see all of the other features that this tablet has. That 11 by 6 active area, the 8,000 levels of pressure, it's 60 degrees tilt. strokes you know within their own drawing application I've got to say I was really really pleased you know you've got to use their own application if you want to take full use of the dial and the hotkeys and everything like that but their own application is really really good so no need to go outside of their application really I found at least and you can see here there's no jagged lines um, yeah, just really works and I seem to be getting full use out of the pen pressure and the tilt and so on and so forth. So, yep, really, really happy layers, uh, everything there. Not getting a lot of layers, I will say that. But yes, fully happy. You can see there the pen pressure is 
so those eight programmable shotgun keys as well and it's a 5080 LPI resolution tablet. So I think that's pretty much everything there to mention. But the USB cable that it comes with has those small adapters that you can see there in shot. Basically what you can do there, you can plug in either a micro USB or a USB-C phone. The one drawback to this is that it means you cannot charge your phone while the tablet is plugged in. And also, I didn't notice the tablet draining the phone, but obviously that is happening. You can see there the blue ring is lit up and you can see the active area is marked by those four white lights. So the tablet is draining the phone, obviously, but the battery wasn't rapidly going down. Because I can't charge my phone at the same time, it means that I can't draw for 12 hours. Unless you want to try and use some kind of third-party dongle device, some kind of splitter, I don't recommend that. I haven't tried it myself, so I can't say yes. May work, may not work. If you get the chance to try it, drop it in the comments below. Let me know. Let me know the brand. I would be interested to know if that works. But either way, for me, this is kind of a stopping point, so I could do sketching. If I wanted to do sketching on a phone that wasn't a Galaxy Note or one of the more expensive phones with a stylus, then that's what this is. This isn't a replacement for drawing on your computer. If you're going traveling, this tablet, the Deco Pro Medium, is really light, really thin. You can throw it in your bag and go. And that, to me, is kind of awesome. So, realistically, you're going to be doing light sketching like you can see me doing here, and that's great. Here is the tablet if you're a left-hander like me. Now, I'm not going to go over the specs. You can see that in my full review. But I just wanted to quickly show you the tablet for the PC. Again, you can see that in my full review. But yes, this is the tablet if you're using it with a laptop or a PC. Now, obviously, this isn't that much different to using it with your phone. But the dial, the, the full setup of the the hotkeys, everything. It's fully available on the Android system, but it's, you know, it, it doesn't feel that much different to using it on the PC, which is what I really, really like. If you're wondering what the app is that I'm using it on the PC here, this is sketchable. I like the fact that on the Android system, that XP Pen have actually given us their own drawing app. Now, I haven't really tested it with other applications, but that's because I found that the one that XP Pen have given us has been really, really good. Um, yeah, and it just kind of works with, you know, their own app and their own brushes and everything. So I've been kind of just happily plodding along with their drawing application. Um, to be honest, I think that using it with other applications doesn't really work for the moment. Let me know if you've found anything else to be a bit different. Obviously, when you're using it on the PC, you can use it with anything else. You know, Photoshop, GIMP, Sketchable, you know, whatever you want to use. But on the Android, um, realistically, I think you have to use it with their application. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what you think of this sketch. I'll see you all later. Have a wonderful day. Keep on creating.